day one, I hope you're ready for our maths lesson today. Now we've been learning all about halves and quarters, and today we're going to be using them with movement. So we're we'll going to be learning all about something called a half turn. So we're going to need our half knowledge with shapes to help us with how to do half turns, going clockwise and anti-clockwise. But let's recap and see what we remember from the previous lesson. Now, we were looking at finding quarter of a quantity. So can you find quarter of these whole numbers? Remember, when we're finding quarter, we have to share it between four equal parts. OK, so you're going to put me on pause. You can even write it out or you can count with your finger and have a go. OK, you're going to have two minutes to do this, putting me on pause. Now, fantastic. So you should be able to, with the eight, you should have shared it out equally, doing your one for me, one for you, all the way. And you should have found that how many does it have? It should be shared into two. Well done. So quarter of eight is two. Fantastic. When you share it into four equal parts, the answer is two. What did you find for 12 then? Well, you think it's three. OK, let's see. We move into, do we ever leave a part? No, we don't. We have to make sure that we're sharing them equally. So I'm going to put one in this one. I'm going to keep going. One in this one. Should I stop? No, well done, because we shouldn't leave any left in the hole. Well done. How many did they have each? Oh, well, it's looking like you're right. Well done. What is quarter of 12? Three, because each part has three and we divided it equally into four equal parts. Well done, everyone. So today we're going to be able to identify what half turns are. We're going to use our knowledge of half to find half turns. So to start off with, we need to remember what clockwise means. Now we've looked at clocks before to understand clockwise direction. OK, remember clockwise, it's going in one direction, the same way the arrow should go on a clock. OK, so it's going the direction and it's always going to the right. Well done, it's going to the right. OK, so what I want you to do is I want you to practice going clockwise for me okay i'm gonna get a clock and we're gonna see if we can go clockwise are you ready okay clockwise well done i should be going to the right okay i'm gonna stop check if i'm going clockwise very good because i moved to the right and i'm going in the right direction OK, am I going clockwise now? No, well done, because I went left first, which isn't clockwise. Remember, clockwise, we go to the right. Well done. If you're confused about your lefts and right, if you do this with your hand, you know that this is left. OK, this is our left hand. This is our right hand. Left, right. And clockwise is in the right direction. So we have to go this way. Fantastic, which leads us on to anti-clockwise. OK, anti-clockwise is the opposite direction to which hands on a clock move, and it means that we're going left. So let's have a look at that. So anti-clockwise, we have to go left. So we'd be going round this way, round this way. Do you see that? Fantastic. OK, tell me if I'm going anti-clockwise. Yes, well done. Am I going anti-clockwise? Well done, because I'm going to the left. Well done. Am I going anti-clockwise? No, why am I not going anti-clockwise? Because I went right, which means that's clockwise. Fantastic. Well done, everyone. So we're going to be using clockwise and anti-clockwise with our directions today. And we're going to be looking at something called half turns. Can you say that? Half turns. 
Fantastic. We're going to be looking at half turns in a clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. If you look at that circle there, have we halved the circle? We absolutely have. We did half the circle. And you're going to need that when we're doing direction. Because if I draw a circle and I half it, when I'm going clockwise, half a turn, I start at the top of my half and I go all the way down to the bottom of my half. Did you see that? So when I'm going half a turn, I have to start at the top and then I go all the way round until I get to the bottom and I've done half of a turn. Okay. If I was going the opposite direction, so that's in a clockwise direction, isn't it? If we're going around this way, we're going clockwise. If I went this way, half a turn, I would be going half a turn anti-clockwise. I've still gone half, but I've gone half a turn anti-clockwise. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an arrow and we're going to guess if it's clockwise or anti-clockwise. Okay. Clockwise, well done, it is clockwise. We're going from the right, half a turn, clockwise. Well done, we always stop when we get here. Okay, let's try again. Ah, clockwise again, well done. Half a turn clockwise, we're stopping there, well done. Half a turn, anti-clockwise, well done, because we went left, well done. So this is half a turn, anti-clockwise, fantastic. So we can use this to help us. And when we do turns, what we do is we get rid of the circle and we have to picture it in our head and we just put in the arrow okay this would be half a turn we start here and we finish there we go all the way round same for anti-clockwise we start at the top and we go round and we imagine our shape. Okay? So, we're going to have a go doing that. Miss Bamford's going to show you some turns, half turns, clockwise and anti-clockwise, using some real objects to help us. Okay? So, here we go. What we're going to start off with is I'm going to start off drawing my arrow, okay? I want to go in a clockwise direction, okay? This is my arrow. When I'm turning something, I want to make sure I stop when I get to this arrow. For example, if I start with a pen, I have to turn until this bit reaches the arrow, this top bit, because the top bit is right up the top here. So I have to turn it until it reaches the arrow. That is half a turn clockwise. You make sure that this bit at the top reaches the bottom down here for half a turn clockwise. So I'm going to do that again. Half a turn clockwise. This pen has now turned half a turn clockwise. Let's show you with something else. Now I've got a fork. When I turn the fork half a turn clockwise, this pointy end of the bit of the fork needs to end up down here. It needs to end up down where the arrow is. So I'm going to turn it 
half a turn clockwise. Now the pointy ends at the bottom, we've turned it half a turn clockwise. I'm going to show you with my teddy bear because we can do this with anything. Here's my teddy bear. The head starts at the top. So when it turns, the head should be at the bottom. So when I turn my teddy bear all the way until his head's at the bottom and now I stop. He has turned half a turn clockwise. Let's try it with the cactus. And this is one of Miss Banfield's cactus. The pointy end is near the top. When I turn it half a turn clockwise, the pointy end needs to be right at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to be careful because this is my cactus. So I'm going to turn it. There you go. It's gone half a turn clockwise. The pointy end started at the top and now it's at the bottom. OK. What about if we went the other way then? I'm going to draw my arrow this side because this time I want to go half a turn anti-clockwise. OK. So when I'm doing half a turn anti-clockwise, let's use the pen again. This bit of my pen needs to end up down here. But instead of turning this way, I have to make sure that I turn this way. OK, so I'm going to turn my pen and half a turn anti-clockwise. So I'm going to turn it. Now the bottom bits at the bottom. I've turned it half a turn anti-clockwise. I'm going to do the same with the fork. Pointy end starts at the top. Where do we want the pointy end to end up? Well done. Half a turn would be at the bottom. OK, so we're going to turn it. Anti-clockwise. There we go. Have we made an anti-clockwise turn? Half? We absolutely have. Fantastic. OK, I'm going to show you with my teddy bear. Here he is. His head's at the top. Which way has he got to go? Anti-clockwise. OK, I'm turning him anti-clockwise. What's wrong? That's not anti-clockwise. How do you know? Because anti-clockwise means I move it le to the left. OK, well done. Here's my left. OK, I'm going to turn him and have a turn anti-clockwise. Round he goes. There we go. His head's now at the bottom. He's turned half a turn anti-clockwise. Fantastic. OK, I'm going to get my cactus. Here we go. I'm going to make sure which bit of the cactus needs to be at the bottom. The top bit. Well done. OK, I'm going to turn it half a turn anti-clockwise. There we go. Perfect. I haven't turned it half a turn anti-clockwise. How do you know? I've gone too far. Oh dear. When should I have stopped? When I got to the arrow. OK, I'm going to do that again. Tell me when to stop this time. Stop. Very good. That is half a turn anti-clockwise. Fantastic. So you can use all sorts of objects to turn something clockwise or anti-clockwise. And here we've got an example of a snail doing all the movements round. It's stopping at different points. And you can see that when he stops at the halfway mark, usually the object is turned upside down. OK, it's a bit of a hint there for you. So, can we turn this frog half a turn clockwise? 
Okay, I'm going to have a go. I'm going to get this frog and I'm going to have a go turning it half a turn clockwise. Okay, so I've got my frog ready to move. Here he is. Ready. Now, which way is clockwise? Well done, clockwise is to the right. Fantastic, so I need to turn him this way, okay? How do I know when to stop? When the top bit reaches the bottom, okay? So when his eyes are at the bottom, okay? You're gonna tell me when to stop, are you ready? Stop, well done. Okay, shall we see if we're right? Did we turn him half a turn clockwise? Are you ready? Fantastic. Well done. When he started at the top, like so. When we turn him half a turn clockwise, his head should now be at the bottom. Fantastic. Okay. What about anti-clockwise? Hmm. Which direction should I turn for anti-clockwise? I think I need to go to the right. No, why am I not going to the right? Because it's anti-clockwise, so which way am I going for anti-clockwise? To the left, well done. I can use the arrow to help me. When do I stop? When I've reached the arrow, exactly. But which bit needs to reach the arrow? His mouth? No, his tail? No, the top bit of the picture needs to reach where the arrow is. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it. Tell me when to stop. Okay, I'm stopping. That's not right, how do you know that's not right? I haven't completed the turn, but I turned it. It's gotta go the whole, okay, the whole way. The whole way round? No, until the top fin reaches where the arrow should be. Okay, so I'm gonna turn, turn. Too far, okay, he's going back. Is that right? Very good, he should be upside down. Fantastic, when we turn, all from this picture, half a turn anti-clockwise, he should be going like so. Fantastic. Okay, bit different this time because our picture's actually upside down. Hmm, Miss Bamford's tried to trick you here. My picture's upside down. So what does that mean, do you think, when we turn it half a turn? If it starts off upside down, you think it might turn the right way up? Okay, so which bit of the rocket do we want to reach the bottom of the arrow? The top bit, and what is the top bit of the rocket? The flames, okay, so we're gonna turn it until the flames reach the bottom. Okay, so that should be half a turn. Which way are we going? Anti-clockwise, okay, which way is anti-clockwise? To the left, well done, okay. You're gonna tell me when to stop. You didn't tell me to stop. Okay, let's try that again. Stop. Okay, why are we stopping? Because the flames are now at the bottom of the arrow. So that should be half a turn. Okay, let's see. Well done, everyone. That absolutely is a half turn anti-clockwise. When the image starts off upside down, and we half turn it, it should end up the right way round. Fantastic. Okay, so it's your turn. Okay, I'm gonna help you with this one and then you're gonna have a go by yourself. This is using our head, okay. One of these kites has been turned half clockwise and one of them hasn't. One of them hasn't been turned half clockwise. Do you think you can tell me which one has turned half clockwise and which one hasn't. All I'm gonna need you to do is you're gonna point at the screen. Now, I'm gonna have a go first. I think, looking at this kite here, if it was to turn half a turn clockwise, 
I'd want this top bit, the blue and the purple, to be at the bottom, because that's where the bottom of this arrow is. So I think it can't be this one, because look, the blue and the purple are on this side. That's not at the bottom. So I think half the turn clockwise has got to be this one. What do you think? Do you agree? Well done. This is absolutely the right one that's been turned half clockwise because this bit of the picture went all the way round until it got to the bottom there. Fantastic. OK, let's see if you can have a go. What about the bear? The bear is going to turn half a turn clockwise. Which direction is clockwise, left or right? Right, well done. Where do we stop when we get to the arrow? Fantastic. Shall I draw an arrow in for you? OK, I'm going to draw an arrow in for you. So we need to stop when it gets to the arrow. Which bit? The head. OK, I'm going to give you 20 seconds to decide which bear has turned half clockwise. OK, 20 seconds starting now. OK, which bear did you think turned half clockwise? Why is it not this one? Well, that one hasn't moved at all. Oh, dear. How do you know it hasn't moved? Because the head's still at the top. OK, so which one has turned half clockwise? The bear on the left. Well done, because his head is now at the bottom. Fantastic. OK. This time, this owl is turning half a turn anti-clockwise. Which way is anti-clockwise? To the left, well done. So which direction would I draw my arrow in? To the left, okay, I'm gonna draw the arrow in for you. Here it is. Okay, I want to know which owl has turned half a turn anti-clockwise. This time I'm only gonna give you 10 seconds. Which of these owls has turned half a turn anti-clockwise? OK, starting now. OK, so which owl has turned half a turn anti-clockwise? Personally, I think it's this one. Why is it not that one? That one hasn't moved. How do you know it hasn't moved? Because his feet are still at the top. OK, so where should its feet be now? But I thought because it was, I thought it should be upside down. No, because it started off upside down, which means it should be the right way up. Well done. So this is the uh, owl that turned half a turn anti-clockwise. Fantastic. All right. This one you're going to do all by yourself. OK, if you want to draw an arrow in on a piece of paper to help you, you can or you can use the arrow up here to help you okay this robot has turned half a turn anti-clockwise which robot has turned half a turn anti-clockwise okay putting on me on pause now okay which robot has turned half a turn anti-clockwise you think it's this one? Why do you think it's this robot? Because he started off upside down with his feet at the top. So where should his feet be when he's turned half a turn anti-clockwise? At the bottom. Why is it not this one here? Because he's on his side. OK, so. So that can't be half a turn. OK, fantastic. Well done, everyone. So. On your sheet, you've got lots of things to have a go turning. Now, some of them you might need to draw and some of them you are going to be circling the one that is correct, the one that's been turned half anti-clockwise, OK? Now, you can use objects in your house to help you. If you have objects similar to the sheet, you can by all means use them to help you or you could just use a pen and you could draw an arrow clockwise 
and an arrow. Anti-clockwise. And just use your pen and imagine it's the picture to help you. OK. So that's what you can do to help you with your sheet. OK, well, good luck, everyone. And I hope that you enjoy your half turns. If you want to have a go at the challenge and you can explore half turning objects in your own home. OK, bye, everyone.